and as soon as a a company starts selling fake bags and they can kind of like get away with it once or twice but if it's continuously happening it can really be bad for their business you have the question where are they getting these bags from like where are they getting these amazing deals like there must be something happening right behind the scenes hey guys welcome to my channel i'm jess if you love shopping and handbag videos please like and subscribe to my channel i just wanted to talk about an article i read today in the age which is a australian newspaper it's shine shining light on closet which is a store in uh, sydney which sells authentic uh, designer bags for a discount now they pride themselves in authenticity they say that they use entropy and they are able to source bags from overseas and get them for a really good price and you're able to score really good deals on bags from designers such as Saint Laurent, Prada, Gucci, I think even uh, Celine, maybe Bottega Veneta as well. And you know, a lot of these brands are known to have outlets, so it's not unbelievable that maybe there is a store like this that could source bags from overseas from perhaps, you know, the Prada outlet and offer it to the Australian market so you can buy it. However, uh, this article interviews a few women who have bought bags from this store and they've ended up being fake. And I think that's really unfortunate because this particular store is in a really prime location in Sydney on the Strand. And it seems like not a dodgy place at all. You know, it's got a lot of good reviews. There was one lady in this article that actually bought a Gucci bag from this store and didn't realize until a year later that her bag was a super fake. Now, they, all these women ended up getting their money back, I believe, from Cosette, who still deny that these bags were fake. But I personally have also had people say that they bought bags from Cosette that ended up being fake. I have worked at a few luxury boutiques in the past and I've had clients come to me and show me their bag that they've bought from Cosette and I can confirm that they were super fake. And given that, I've always, since a few years back, not really trusted this company. I have heard people who have bought bags from this store as well that have been authentic. So I have absolutely no idea how they source their bags, whether they're buying them from outlets which you know for some reason have fake bags in them because maybe customers have returned fake bags you know sometimes that can happen or whether they're intentionally selling fakes and then profiting off people's ignorance i have no idea what their intentions are because you know a lot of these women who are buying these bags from cosette they are saving money if they are authentic like for example there was a lady who bought a celebrant envelope bag that retails at four thousand dollars for two thousand dollars then realized it was a super fake so you know a super fake bag does not cost two thousand dollars especially a celebrant one so they definitely ripped her off with that one because it's one thing to buy a fake knowingly, but then to buy a bag thinking it's authentic and then realizing it's fake is just, you know, it's criminal. It's just outrageous. And especially for a store like this to be in such a prime position in Sydney who are not really taking accountability for this and people are having to go through the hassle of getting their money back and I'm sure there's a lot of people as well who just didn't realize they bought a fake bag and trusted you know saw the best in Cosette and just assumed it was an authentic bag that they bought that probably still have bags from Cosette that, that unknowingly may be fake you know and I think this is really sad and this definitely can happen on the pre-loved market as well now now Cosette is not a consignment store they are not selling pre-loved bags they are selling they say they say that they sell fresh bags like that it's not like they're taking someone's bag and selling it and they didn't authenticate it properly they are selling bags that all you know authentic designer bags new right they do say that they use entropy but you know entropy well i mean it is pretty accurate they actually interviewed the founder of entropy in this article as well and he's developed this app where well basically you have this device which you scan uh, many sections of the bag and it will like zoom in on a microscopic level on the bag to be able to compare those images to images in its database so it can determine whether a bag is fake or real and it is pretty good at authenticating most bags you know i have personally used entropy as well i did used to work at the purse affair last year maybe you guys saw me in the live sales or whatever but i worked there for yeah maybe four to six months i actually can't remember but it was a really good experience for me because i did use all 
entropy and I did authenticate bags so I have a little bit of background in that as well and I can say that entropy was a pretty good tool to be able to uh, determine whether a bag was real or fake but there was some bags that entropy could not identify and I noticed that a lot of uh, Gucci bags and even some some seller rock bags couldn't be identified by entropy and this didn't mean that the bags were fake but it was just that this there were some particular styles that super fakes are so good that you can't really tell the difference between a fake and a real bag and it's getting scary that I've even heard with some uh, Cartier pieces uh, they're getting really hard to authenticate because the super fakes are so damn good and I can definitely say that for Gucci I've seen some super fake Gucci bags that you really can't tell the difference between an authentic and a real Gucci bag being said that Cosette are selling some bags like this as well that are the super fake bags that are very hard to tell um, unless you're an expert and there's definitely experts out there that have an eye and can authenticate bags really well and sometimes we can't only rely on these devices like entropy to authenticate you know there are people like Zico um, who authenticates Chanel bags she's been studying Chanel bags for a long time and she's an expert or people like Baba Baby who also have a really good eye for Hermes but any form of authentication is not 100% foolproof and I would always say that when you're shopping from anywhere besides the boutique you should authenticate your bag a few times just to get a few expert opinions whether it's through you know legit legit grails which is also another authentication place who was interviewed in this article or you know whether you use entropy whether you use um you know or there was also australian there was an australian authentication service i would use a few even i've used real authentication just use a few authentication websites or you know go to someone who studies bags as well like if you have zico you know i think she's overseas or send images to baba baby for hermes because getting a few expert opinions will kind of give you that peace of mind and you know they'll be able to pick up if a bag is fake most of the time when you're shopping the pre-love market if you get a few opinions that it's real it it probably is and the only way you can completely determine if a bag is real is if you buy it from the store um, now most of my bags I've actually bought secondhand so I have authenticated them a few times to make sure that they are real and having worked in um, you know luxury stores myself and having uh, experienced the pre-love market the last few years I I have developed a little bit of an eye for authentication as well and you know if you are also a bag collector and study these bags and look at these bags a lot um, it can be really good you'll get better at shopping on the pre-love market as well and be, being able to flag these things and I know the lady who accidentally bought the Celerot from Co Cosette had been obsessed with the Celerot bag for a while so she'd seen lots of images of it and she'd been you know looking up close at all these different Celerot envelope bags and then that's how she could identify that this bag that she got was fake and then she once authenticating it it definitely determined to her that it was fake I would always really study the bag that you're looking for if you're not gonna buy it from the boutique and really get an eye for what the bag should look like so if you do accidentally buy a fake you'll be able to realize straight away because there's nothing worse than finding out your bag is fake like two years after you've bought it and then you can't really do anything about it Alex from the Purse Affair is also interviewed in this article who was my old boss actually and he made a really good point that entropy can be actually used in a way for evil if it gets into the wrong hands you know you can authenticate a real Chanel bag and get the entropy certificate and then sell the certificate with a fake Chanel bag and you know scam somebody which is totally true just because a bag comes with an authentication certificate doesn't mean it could be authentic if you don't buy it from uh you know a reputable seller you know there are people on Facebook that are just selling their bags that may not have much feedback or even eBay and I wouldn't completely trust these places with their authentication certificate you should do your own checks as well you know with with any bag that you buy that is not directly from the store you should do your own checks um don't any consignment store anywhere just do your own checks because i personally have bought a fake bag from a consignment store before that did their checks and it was not authentic so yeah you just have to be careful and get a few expert opinions when buying something that's not directly from the boutique and you know there are websites like satire as well that offer 
really great discounts on designer bags. You know, I wanted to buy a Ferragamo bag recently and I looked on Setai and it was so much cheaper. But after reading Google reviews of this website, it seemed a little bit dodgy as well. However, I have heard really great feedback of this website and people getting really great bags. But, you know, I would shop with caution. Places like Cosette as well, you know, there have been people who have bought designer goods from there which have been authentic and just, you know, discounted. But, you know, where are they? You have the question, where are they getting these bags from? Like, where are they getting these amazing deals? Like, there must be something happening, right, behind the scenes. And why are there a mix of, like, fake and real bags? Like, I've even heard people from Setire actually accidentally buy a fake bag from them too. So I don't know how these companies are sourcing their bags. Let me know if you have more insight on that, because it just seems very strange that, you know, because stores like Net-A-Porter and... Um, you know, far-fetched. They don't, they aren't known to accidentally sell you a fake bag. They seem a little bit more reputable and trustworthy there, but there's other like websites like, yeah, like Cosette or Setai that seem a little bit more dodgy or I've heard worse reviews from. So yeah, obviously I would read reviews from other people. I would get personal, um, you know, I'd listen to your friends or people that you know, or even people that, you know, join some Facebook groups and get some intel as to like, you know, these places are trustworthy because, you know, I think word of mouth is really powerful as well. And as soon as a, a company starts selling fake bags or, you know, it can, they can kind of like get away with it once or twice, but if it's continuously happening, it can really be bad for their business. And honestly, it would definitely discourage me from shopping at these particular places because I just wouldn't want to go through the, the drama, right? I think it's quite strange that a play as store in such a prime position in Sydney as well would be able to get away with stuff like that. Like, seems a bit baffling. But I think that, you know, going forward, brand, like, we have to kind of be able to control super fakes a little bit more from coming into the country as well because, yeah, it's just a shame that they're getting mixed up in the market and I feel like people are getting discouraged from shopping in the pre-love market as well because it's getting harder to navigate and I hope that in the future brands do really uh, nip this in the butt and uh, nip it in the bud is that the expression because yeah I mean you know Louis Vuitton they're putting microchips in their bags now which I feel like are harder to fake like things like that I really think brands should be doing things to you know, outsmart the super fakes because it is a real shame when you accidentally buy a fake bag. Like it is just the worst feeling. And that is why I don't personally want to support fakes because they trick people and, you know, people lose a lot of money from accidentally buying fakes as well. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching my video today. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye.